I don't know. I stick the penis in the mouth right away. <laughs> well, and that's how we just opened the show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, you didn't say that we were on yet. No, I was no, no. not about to miss what was happening there. <laughs> I knew something was coming, and I got the button pushed just <laughs> in time. My so welcome. Big flapper. <laughs> to, the, to the Great Northern Sex Cast, episode 39, Colleen Bertino. Woo! Good morning, everyone. And uh, boy, uh, it's been... 28 episodes ago that we had our in-studio guest today. Of course, we've got Liz here and also Megan from Fantasy Gifts. Glad Hello. to have you both. But in-studio special guest, Mrs. Sin. Welcome has it back. Really been that, Hi. Has it really been that long? Yeah, it was uh, March when yeah. she was here. It was episode 11 and we're now at episode 39. So I'm wow. hoping that... You guys flies. have really been sexing it up here. <laughs> we have. Oh, yeah. Wow. We, we, we've been working at it. You know, we, practice we... makes perfect. <laughs> 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 and you know, we even had a, uh, a sexual... Uh, what, was the, what was his title again? The, the instructor from Normandale. Um, yeah, um, well, no, he, he, he did, is a professor. He does have yeah. his PhD in uh, uh, sex ed. He's yeah. doc, Dr. Sex. Yeah. yeah Donna. <laughs> and he was really, he was so interesting. He, and sure. he was a super cool guy. And no, very really laid back fun. and all that kind of stuff. So, Dr. Yeah. Sex Me Up. Dr. <laughs> sex Me Up. Yeah. I would like to bring him in with uh, some of the other great characters that we saw. I would like to know if he's had group sex at all yet. <laughs> We could get that arranged for him. <laughs> he could consider it, um, you know, just research. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honey, it's research. <laughs> yep. I need to write a paper on orgies. <laughs> I need to do an experience one. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. So for those of you who uh, don't know who Mrs. Sin is, even though she's only made one appearance here on the Great Northern Sex Cast, um, she, her, her episode has been the one heard around the world, and I do mean around the world, because Michael, no, no joke, um, is a gamer. Michael and his husband um, have a lot of international gaming friends, and mm -hmm. there have been downloads and plays of that show from far-flung parts of the world. So, Sweet. tell a friend, everybody. <laughs> All of a sudden, my voice got really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my Just kidding. No one listens to <laughs> no one listens. <laughs> Now it's radio. Let it out. It's radio. No one listens to the radio anymore. <laughs> no, we all download our crap and take it on the treadmill. You know, it's <laughs> awesome, man. So I, 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 just, I dusted off my treadmill. How that? Did you get all the clothes put away? <laughs> it, had, it had photo albums stacked on top of it, and I'm thinking, you know, I'm not looking at the photo albums or using the treadmill, so maybe I'll do some cleaning. I stayed, in, I stayed inside because the, the 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 crap in the air is attacking. Yeah, oh, that was just so terrible. I can hear it actually in your voice. Yeah kind of stuffed yeah. up so no i i have a treadmill so i, I looked at it this weekend <laughs> that's a start that's your a start. eyeballs got their exercise <laughs> yeah. that was about it that's why i don't want to buy exercise equipment at least i can buy a gym membership but it doesn't have to stare at me <laughs> <laughs> right well, I figure it's downstairs, so it's pretty much out of my range of view because the teenager's taken over the downstairs. Yeah. So I don't go down there all yeah. that often except when I'm doing laundry. Oh, well, okay. okay, here's the next thing. You might as well just have sex on the treadmill. Uh, yeah, oh. Oh, I can't even imagine the burns from that. Well, okay, suppose... I didn't say I had to turn it on or anything. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> just put it, see, just put it at the 10. The, the, the I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I am overthinking this. See, there's my problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we finally had the camper to ourselves this weekend. We have a little tiny teardrop. And we went to a friend's house, and so the kid was inside sleeping, and we had the camper to ourselves. But unfortunately, I was uh, not able to do anything and then i'm like it i'm like there's like this giant bunk bed and 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 my husband was like well i just put you over it <laughs> i'm like well next time yeah well, well what if there well, isn't well, a next time well, yeah, yeah. oh why wouldn't there be a next time oh Don't there, come there'll be a next time if the camper's rocking <laughs> oh no 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 yeah i but uh, d done a little bit of glam camping, and there have just been times in the morning. If, if, if you open up a camper where you've got some stuff stored, you look inside, and you're like, "Ah, so you guys hooked up last night?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, oh my! I'm like, okay, and I'm like, do I use this as ammunition later? Because what? Oh. what, what, what Absolutely what, not! Yeah, you later. jump in and you <laughs> snuggle with them. <laughs> <laughs> this way, one of the two would have been fine, but the other one, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> so again, this is you years just spoon the ago. one side. <laughs> <laughs> right? I like the way you think. Well, the camper was named the Love Bug, so it was, oh, appropri it was nice. appropriately named, which was nice. really entertaining. Don't mm. sit down on any of the cushions. <laughs> 
Unless they're leather. <laughs> or covered I always buy in leather. plastic. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So the only reason, if I buy a used car, I insist on leather seats. I absolutely oh. will not buy any upholstery that has been previously owned. It's, it's a rule. It's okay, like, this, yeah. this is leading into a really crazy story. I have to tell this now that we're talking about plastic wear. And so I was in uh, Chicago for a lifestyle party, staying at one of my single female girlfriend's apartment. And I had gotten really messed up at the party. And when I woke up the next morning, I wake up and there's this plastic sheet. And I'm like, God, what the fuck is stuck on my face? <laughs> and I start peeling this plastic sheet off of my face that was on her bed. She goes, well, when I have sex, I squirt a lot. So it was a big plastic sheet. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's her bad. And it, the, the sheets don't stay on plastic, so the sheet was right. all balled up at the end of my feet, and I've just got this plastic stuck to me. Oh, my God. Well, hey, I like your cat. I mean, she's very practical about her sex. She was. Yes. Oh but God. waking up having plastic, plastic stuck to you no. really wasn't the way to wake and up when you're that hungover. They're much better mattress protectors than plastic. Oh, God, was that funny. I think she took a picture of it, too. We could did, you, did you, like, have to, like, peel? Peel it. Oh. I literally had to peel it away. Oh. I think so, I had the night sweats. Oh. I was like, what the? So, oh. so there is traveling sex. I mean, because I know that you're saying that a lot of times when I was listening to other episodes that, you know, that the group gets sort of, you know, you know someone who knows someone and you meet someone. So how do you meet someone like, I'm going to travel to like Utah. Well, hang on. Let's back <laughs> okay. up for just a minute because yeah. we, we didn't really do a proper introduction. Oh, we just said well, names. You know. And so we all know who Mrs. Sin is. Oh, okay. But just let's explain, kind of let it explain how we know you. Um, well, I host lifestyle slash swinger events in the Minneapolis area. And I came in for my first podcast um, discussing as a woman and female event host in the lifestyle, um, the parties and the sex um, from a female perspective. Mm -hmm. And the people you will meet. And the people you will meet <laughs> and not know their names and have sex with and meet at another party going, I know I had sex with you, but I don't remember your name. <laughs> can, you take, can you take your pants off quick? You right. want me to do it right now? No. <laughs> No, but you, <laughs> might, you might recognize them. You know, you might remember them better. Oh, yeah. They, right? Oh, yeah. right. Oh, it's old yes. Ulster yeah. leaves yeah. to the left. <laughs> uh, okay. I yep. remember those balls. <laughs> But see, here's what I don't get. How you, there's no hello, my name is tags. I mean, what are you going to stick them to? Your ass? <laughs> or you could, I guess. If she's, you want so, to. she's like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. <laughs> you know, so Colleen, back to your question now. Can you like oh, repose yeah, that? Saying is that yeah, so you're in Chicago. I mean, you live here, but you're mm -hmm. in Chicago. And like, is, you have a friend there. But let's say you're traveling someplace where there's not friends. Do you, okay. do you, do you, do you go online and meet Absolutely. The lifestyle, the lifestyle sites. Mm -hmm. okay. um, the one that I belong to, Lifestyle Lounge com is nationwide. Okay. So from Canada down to Puerto Rico and everything in between and beyond, um, when you're in the area, you can take your profile and say traveling from Minneapolis to wherever you are. Say I was in Chicago, um, post a booty call, mm -hmm. and it'll say that you're from Minneapolis here in Chicago, and then you can post your booty call, whatever you're looking for. Nice. Yeah. It's kind of like that that app. Oh, I remember somebody, somebody, I don't, I'm not going to name him, was here visiting and he pulled up his little app and it showed him like everybody in the like one mile radius who oh, was yep. up Grindr. for fun. Grinder, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Who was up for a good time. Or growl. Yeah. Okay. So kind of the same thing, but a closed. Yeah, this is just site. for, yeah, this yep. is for lifestyle people. So then the couples, um, single females and single males that are traveling, can hook up they already know it yeah you're yeah. in the lifestyle yeah. you're part of it that kind of yeah. stuff so do you do you get a view of the profile of the people or are you mm -hmm. just kind of taking a chance no you can absolutely view their profile so if someone emails you you can go in and click on their profile and you can read um the description of who they are and what they're looking for and what they're into and yeah Okay, so it's kind of like a match.com of sorts, yeah. uh, only on steroids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> only on steroids, yeah. Match for the night.com. Yeah, that would be fun. 
Yeah, you just meet up somewhere, and if it goes somewhere, it goes somewhere, right? Yeah, usually, yeah. you know, let's meet for drinks, yeah. in quotation mm-hmm. marks, yeah. and then if it goes somewhere, it goes somewhere. Yeah. I mean, some people have, you know, hey, come on over, we'll host, we have a hot tub, we have, you know, sex toys. What was that, the thumper? Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. You know? the, the, well, no, what is it actually <laughs> called, the twerking butt again? Oh, God, I don't even know. What is that the official name of that thing? No, butt? no, that, that, we nicknamed it that because it. that's what looked like, but it was... Uh, uh, just one of the uh, high-end masturbators from Top Coat yeah. that they're bringing out. I'm, I cannot. I don't I can't know remember the real name. <laughs> okay, so this is. The, now we have to figure out box. what it is. I yeah. never actually saw the box. I just saw the. I stuck my this finger is, in her box. Is, yeah. oh, so did I. I, I was see. just gonna say this is what I heard about the twerking, but it was really warm on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> well, like yes. the butt cheeks do this like like figure eight roll so you put your finger in and like it's like getting a weird like massage mm-hmm. like when you're at a pet inside. yeah yeah <laughs> It's, it's really like it took a weird. pedicure chair and yeah. turned it into a masturbation device. Right. Yeah, with like a hole. <laughs> like yeah. imagine, imagine, yeah, yeah, a massaging chair with like a hole in it. Mm. So you've got these like she. I want to know how much of my body can I put swirl. in it. Yeah. So I, 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 yeah. I, I, I kept thinking if I had a penis, I think this would feel good. Yeah, I, was yeah. Like, I know. This right? feels good on my fingers. Finger. Yeah, yeah. I this can't would feel even. really good on a penis. Yeah. yeah. Well, then the men get spoiled at the end, and then the next thing you know, they have sex with a real woman. They're like, can you do that twerking thing and do this? And well, do if you have proper kegels, yes, you oh. should be able to. <laughs> okay, this is true. <laughs> and we're warm. And <laughs> self lubricating. <laughs> and here's the, now here's the <laughs> and news. And we have boobs attached. <laughs> That's true. And and grabbing back. Here's the news reporter coming back though. Just really quick before we move past into more masturbation here. Um, when you when you hook up in a, in a different city, is everybody that's a member of your group, Mrs. Sin, are they like, um, like sort of vetted in a way? So that you can have some sort of a reasonable expect- For safety. You for mean? safety, yeah. You know, as far as knowing that they're legit. Okay, first off on the profile, when you set up your profile, you will get um, a little thing in the corner and it'll say certified, a real seal. So you can set up a profile online and until I have met you in person, someone needs to meet you in person, have spoke with you, then you get the little check mark and the little thing comes up and it says you've been real sealed. Uh Um, So now you are a truly a person. Uh who is familiar, you're not a cop, you're not a reporter, you're not a media person. Um, And I real see quite a few people like at the Kinky Fridays, Mm -hmm. you know, when Uh they come into the Kinky Fridays, it's a meet and greet. So they come there, they get introduced to the lifestyle people, I meet them, and then they'll ask me, can you real sell me in the morning? So I've met them and I know that they're... they're Now what if you meet them and they're like, creepy? Um, You know what? Here's the thing. I have real sealed some bizarre to say the least people but they're you know what if if they how do i put this let's just say they're they're creepy to you maybe they're uh-huh. not creepy to someone but else I, maybe when I, mean someone creepy, I mean like somebody who is you know um well i ne- i wouldn't say creepy is the word you know if they're in the lifestyle dangerous i would i'd never do anyone right. dangerous but, but if i felt da- what would you do in that situation obviously you wouldn't real seal them but do no. you have any other repercussions can you flag their profile i could you well if i personally felt someone was mm-hmm. dangerous or um was mistreating mm-hmm. lifestyle people yeah. i would just contact admin mm-hmm. and let them know what was going on and um so they could get removed from yes. their profile yep okay. yep absolutely all right that's good to know yeah that's because that's what i was wondering so go back up and, and for people who haven't um gotten to hear your uh you know what you work the work that you do and, and different things so you organize all of these different events and when you talk about kinky fridays tell everybody what that is okay kinky fridays is the first friday of every month down at the gay 90s and it's for fetish and bdsm uh, we have Mistress Jean, who is our main host. Or Rubber, Rubberella. In, yep, mm-hmm. exactly. Yep, we'll um, carry her movies. She's but, beautiful. She is gorgeous, isn't she? <laughs> yes. Yeah, she spanked me a few times really good. <laughs> liked it, liked it. Uh, yeah. um, Bondesk, which is the fetish store downtown mm-hmm. and uptown, they they start the night out with a runway show, a oh, fetish fun. runway show. Now, everyone that's in the runway show is a customer of their store, so they are real people involved in the bdsm fetish lifestyle and they they are in this wear cool, that they yeah. purchase mm-hmm. they do the runway show and then after the runway show mistress jean um gets on stage and she will perform on 
people who are willing participants. Mm-hmm. Obviously, no one's going to throw you up on stage right. and make you get spanked and Does shocked. she get tipped? Yep, she yep. gets the tips. So what I do then is I come in because um, it's fun, it's entertaining, and I set up an area, and it's a meet and greet. So people who are new to the lifestyle or people who are curious about maybe the fetish lifestyle, whatever, they come in and we have an area and we all sit down and we get to know each other and we talk and we hang out as friends and the new people can come in and meet um, the not-so-newbies like our song, like, <laughs> real hard, put away wet ones. <laughs> um, and they have a show to watch. It's not just in a, in a basically, you know, you can do a meet and greet anywhere. Right. But this one's a high sexuality. It's got a right. lot of sex. You it's know. a good way to throw you in the deep end, right? It's a good way to throw mm. you in. You have something to watch. You can yep. participate. Um, Nudity is allowed on stage. You can wear scantily, you know, just, you can pretty much as, Go topless. So nice. if you, I've been wa- selling a lot of nipple nipple stickers. Oh, the know, yep, heart mm-hmm. stars. Yep, uh, you know whatever. The classic black X. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do they stay on well? Yeah, that they're made. To really? Do that. Yeah. Really? I mean, okay. that's I always they're... wondered how those work. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I mean they'll, they <laughs> should stay on if you sweat. Yeah, they should. Really? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. So mm-hmm. and, and so it's just a fun way in a in a more of a hedonistic environment mm-hmm. without feeling any pressure for sex, play, mm-hmm. meet. It's just a meet and greet, mm-hmm. and it's fun. Yeah. Um, and you certainly don't have to be worried about someone overhearing your conversation. Yeah. <laughs> right. Because yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> you, 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 yeah, you do a meet and greet at the Dunn Brothers. Someone could go, "Wait, what the hell's what? going on?" And that's you know? what's, yeah, and yeah. that's what's really nice about the yeah. meet and greet. You don't have to. I mean, hey, girls, you know what? Us women, we get frisky. We get into a high sexual, and we get frisky. And the next thing you know, you got girls making out with girls. Mm-hmm. And then you have what we call vanillas, mm-hmm. which are the non-lifestyle people. And maybe they're not lifestyle friendly either, freaking out. Because yeah. now all of a sudden, we need to go to church on Sunday and right. repent our sins. For So if you start with some bondage <laughs> fetish runway show, they've already <laughs> left. <laughs> exactly. People are there because they want to be there. Yeah. So. But you also have described, because I really... I, Again, if you're just catching this, and this is sin for the first time, there's some really good nuggets that people need to know kind of about the lifestyle. And so you permit, not just van- the vanillas are one thing, I think, but you guys do permit voyeurs to come just to meet and see just the scene a little bit too, right, at, at the Kinky Fridays. Oh, yeah. It's open to the public, too. Okay. So people, okay. yeah, it's open to the public. So anyone in the fetish world, um, voyeurs, mm-hmm. anybody is welcome at Kinky Friday. The lifestylers, we try to have our own area so that when you come in, I'll greet you and get you set up. And these are the lifestyle people, um, whether they're you know involved with the, the fetish BDSM part. Some of them are. Some of them aren't. Some of them are there to meet other people. Some of them are there just to watch Um it's all different. Okay. Well, if you have exhibitionists, you need some voyeurs, right? I mean, right. Yeah. yeah. Somebody <laughs> has to sit back some and watch. Some yin yang going on. <laughs> yeah. <I> think. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So I have one little question. Have, huh? you, have you hosted people coming in from out of town then that you've never met and are just, you know, hey, I'm here? Yeah. Actually, we had some people from the Dakotas mm-hmm. um, who were in town and they're on the site and they were like, they wanted to meet some Twin City people. They came in, they had an absolute amazing blast and sent me the most beautiful email thanking me over and over about how great the Minneapolis swingers are. And friendly. Um, (laughs) And friendly. I'm trying to think where else have we had. You know, they do come from obviously both ends of Minnesota. You know, we get a really very different group of people. I mean, it's, it's a turnover. We have obviously the same people for Kinky Fridays because they really enjoy it. Right. And they love meeting the new people. But then we get a lot of people from all over right. who just are visiting. And- visiting. Mm-hmm. They get a room downtown because they've seen it online. They're curious about it. I oh. guess. I mean, if you live in... <laughs> Superior yep. Wisconsin, and you're really into swinging, and you're like, "Well, I know this fr- fr- this Freaky Fridays is coming up. Let's yeah, make I mean, a weekend makes, of it. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. And then hopefully you meet somebody for Saturday, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he'll meet someone for Friday night and Saturday yeah, and Sunday morning, right, right. Yeah. and then you're never going back to Wisconsin again. <laughs> yeah. well, it just won't be the same. No. I have a I have a girlfriend and her boyfriend, and they come in from they they drive a pretty fair distance from Wisconsin, and he. Absolutely loves his Kinky Fridays, and they get a room downtown, and I'll tell you what, I mean, he just has so much fun, so much fun, and yeah, they they, they get, they have their Friday night, Saturday, 
Sunday fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's back to whatever. And then it's back to reality. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. No, no, I can see that. I know Minneapolis has lots of different things to offer folks. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you just and have to know what websites to go to. to. <laughs> and we've uncovered many more of them in the last 39 yeah. episodes, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I think that's great that everyone's yeah. out there and that this podcast is doing so well. It means that people are really opening up and not so conservative about I sex know, right? and mm-hmm. freeing themselves a little bit more of, you know, the stigmas of especially women and sex. I mean, the we slut can, shaming. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. mean, yeah. I was having a whole conversation with somebody and I was like, wow, if I was single with the Internet, I would be such a slut. And they like gave me this look and I'm like, what? <laughs> Yeah. No. Yeah. No. It's, what is? Yeah. What is wrong with that? It is okay. like, very difficult. Like I said, I, was, I brought it up, and I'm, I'll I'll post the link to the book. But it's I, I'm reading a book about just the, the rules and the laws against sexuality, and like 99 percent of them are about containing women's sexuality. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. All the time. Yeah. Because we're so scary. Yeah. <laughs> that we actually have an, you know an opinion. Yeah. And, and she's oh, a man you know. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, fact, the, the fact that I might enjoy sex. Yeah. Yes, I enjoy sex. And, you know, just to, to, to say that, you know, is is revolutionary. It yeah. still is in 2015. Yeah. You know, to some extent. I think it's getting to be. Uh, I mean, it's better, uh, but it, it's still it's better. But, yeah. But it still freaks some people out. Yeah. You know, it, then they can just go sit in their little world and and lead this boring life and <laughs> oh. you know who's having more fun yeah. yeah i mean i think most of the time they're just jealous because they don't feel that they can express themselves in that way like they deep down inside want to have more sex but there's all this society stuff that's told them no that's wrong if you do that you're a bad girl so they so they don't so they feel like and then they look at you who is like i don't care <laughs> and they're like ah. You yeah, know, I get that I like a lot it. from women, whether yeah. it's in the lifestyle. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see how she dresses? Oh my god! Oh, I think god. you look cute. Oh. I think you look perfectly acceptable. <laughs> um, and she does. Yeah. No, well, so how many years have you been involved with uh, the lifestyle, Mrs. In? Over ten now. Woo. Over ten years. My husband and I started. Um, how do you celebrate that anniversary? <laughs> That's a good question. Sex. Do you know what? My husband and I got into a discussion um, the other day, and he was like, "It's been longer than ten years." I go, "No, it hasn't." I go, "It was our ten-year anniversary in June." So I went back into the awesome part about the the lounge is I went back into our profile, and it had um, all the parties that we have attended. And the very first one that we went on and we actually hooked up. It was so cute. I go, look at Jim. And I showed him on the thing. I go, it, you know, because we started and we did some events, but we never hooked up. We were just, you know, yeah. those checking weird, out, yeah. we were checking it out. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, just what, what, it, what is later. this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. What is all this freakiness about? We, you know, so we went to some stuff and met people. But yeah, it was, I consider our anniversary the first time we partook in it. So, uh, what what do you, can you recall what kind of crossed you guys over? Obviously, you went to some events. You probably had a good time. But what do you think was the, the absolute turning point to where you sort of went down the rabbit hole, if you will, for lack of a better way to put it? What I happened at that you, party? Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> Thank um, you. I think the interesting part about our relationship is when Jim and I met, we both were highly sexual people. Um I was one of those girls who was never really shy about it. So getting married and being in a monogamous monogamous relationship actually kind of freaked me out. Even though I've been monogamous with him, I was like, this is it. I can (laughs) never have sex with anyone for the rest of my life. So I was the freak who sat online for two years in the office, you know, bookmarking these little things about the swinging lifestyle. And I researched it. Then, and I told this story the last time I was here, we went to our first party at a hotel and my poor husband white knuckled it all the way down there. And I was just like, oh, I was so excited. I'm like, I look over and he's holding the steering wheel and his poor knuckles were just white. (laughs) You know, but he, we did it. We did it. Um, What kind of threw us over the deep end was when we, our birthday, our anniversary of 10 years in June, we were on a river part. We were river. We were on the river. And it was a boating party. And I was... A swinging um, boating It was a swinging. Yeah. So all the swingers, we had our we had flags. And you can okay. get the flags to represent your site. Oh, so, nice. and everyone was getting together in certain coves. And we mm-hmm. could swim naked. Mm-hmm. Um, 
drink, do all that stuff. And then we Croy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Floated down to Treasure Island and mm -hmm. everyone got slips next to each other. Mm -hmm. Um I know we got a hotel room because we were on someone's boat and they didn't have sleeping anywhere to sleep mm -hmm. for it. But anyhow, so we were partying with them and I just realized absolutely how awesome. I mean, fun. Like I could run around naked and people were like, oh, my God, did you see her? Everyone was like, woo! Cause they, were more like, they were like, oh, my God, did you see it her? Was, yeah, it was and people. It wasn't just me jumping off the boats naked. Every other people were jumping off yeah. the boats naked. You and found then, your, uh, what do they say, your, your, your tribe? Your tribe. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. that's exactly it. Mm -hmm. I found mm -hmm. my tribe. So it really was the water that <laughs> sent you over. It was, I mean, well, the then, water is really sometimes can be that way, right? Well, you know, and then we had this single male follow us up to our hotel room. He was so kind. He goes, well, let me carry your luggage up for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, isn't this a gentleman? <laughs> now, for those who know who this gentleman is, who everyone, I can't, I won't say any names, but truly his gentlemanly was, I'm going to grab a hold of this luggage and I better fuck her from behind when I get up there. <laughs> <laughs> so he followed us up to our room and it was the funniest thing because he set the luggage down and there, there I am standing in the middle, husband to one side, single male to the other, both of them staring at each other, and I'm looking this way, that way, this way, that way. And I was like, all right, I guess we're going to have sex now. <laughs> Nobody knew how to start Sorry, anything. Eiffel Tower? <laughs> what? The Eiffel Tower? The Eiffel Tower. Oh, my oh God, God, there's one you don't know? Ah, is that the face? And the and A blowjob, right, and from behind, and then the dudes high-five it. <laughs> Basically, it, yep, ex exactly. It, you know what? We Eiffel Towered it a yeah. few times. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that was, that was a turning point, and that's where it was like, damn. So, really, I mean, what it takes is just, like, you have to really just, like, get into the moment. Like, you probably aren't going to necessarily have that event at, like, like, just a party where people are just standing around dancing, but because you had this, like, all-day event with, you know... Yeah. Yeah, kind of like the foreplay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. That by the time you you know you're like I'm ready, and that's that is exactly what like when we do the lifestyle parties, mm -hmm. that's what it is all about. It's starting to feel the sexuality. Mm -hmm. So you go to the event, and whether the event is um, a dress up event, you know, dress to impress, or if there's a theme behind mm -hmm. it, and a lot of them have themes behind it, you dress, and then you start. You go in, and you maybe go up to a couple that you have been chatting online with and you introduce yourself and then the flirtation starts and the drinks start flowing and the conversation starts going and then the touching and the kissing and the rubbing and then the connections made and maybe you, a hot tub then there's the hot tub there there's everything there's plastic beds oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. giant showers there's yep. giant showers yes so how did, okay, just out of curiosity, since uh, it was another male in the first whole encounter, did, did uh, you and your husband have like a post game later about the whole thing? Like, do like a little check-in to see, okay, is it, are we fine? You know, yeah. how did how'd that go? Well, talk about that a little bit. I'm okay. Well, um, he, I, I mean, honestly, my husband thought it was super hot because, you know, another guy, I don't know, he was, he just thought that was really cool. Okay. He was like another guy, you know, watching it and seeing it. And of course he was a receiver at one end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see my little hand motions yeah. here. And he just thought it was hot. And that's, that's actually how we got more into playing with, with the singles. Mm -hmm. um, it's easier for us to make a connection with a single than it is to find a couple because mm -hmm. you need to have that four-way attraction. And that mm -hmm. four-way attraction a lot of people have discussed in many forums is really hard. So there is a huge play for the singles there's a there's a spot for them in the lifestyle mm -hmm. um single females we call them unicorns mm -hmm. um obviously a lot of couples are looking for the single females uh, maybe for a poly relationship mm -hmm. or to fulfill a fantasy i always like to tell people if you're se seeking a single female you have to have something to offer like a vacation <laughs> <laughs> really uh, well you know yeah. what women yeah. want to feel sexy and they want to <laughs> feel special and they're one of those Men will just come in for the sex of it, and mm. they don't care what your first, middle, or last name is. They don't even care how old you are. As long as you're over 18 and they're not going to go to jail, they're going to they're gonna hit it mm -hmm. for the most part. Um, women, single females, you know, I've seen, I've had a lot of single female friends, and 
when they are treated like women and they're treated with respect and they are dated and courted, you know, a couple of dates and courts them and doesn't just try to fulfill their needs. And right. when I say their needs as a couple, well, we just want to have a threesome. To, we to check it off our list, right. our bucket list. No, a lot of my single female friends, um, they go on vacations. They travel with couples. Um, you know, couples will take them shopping. A woman wants to be courted and feel sexy and feel like they're part. They're connected to that right. couple. Mm -hmm. Not um, just a tool to get to. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of my single female friends, my unicorn friends, have a blast. I mean, I just, I have one right now, one of my really close friends who um, is going on two European vacations <laughs> with a couple. Yeah. Same couple? Um, yep, same couple. And then another single female friend who has um, been traveling with um, a particular male half of a couple. Um, so, yeah, it's, you know, there's a lot of, I won't say opportunity, but you know what? If you're a woman in the lifestyle and you're willing to open yourself up and you can travel and you can have fun and you like to have sex and, you know, feel sexy. It's, it's a good gig to be. <laughs> it's a good gig. Yeah. And then you have to have a, you know, there's a lot of conversation there, you know, cause it seems like every, you know, the conversation to start conversation when you're done, that there's not a lot of, you know, obviously hidden things here. Mm -hmm. You can't, you're, mm -hmm. you're not going to hide no, anything point. here. Yeah. You know, the folks are going to know, you know, are, you know, you're gonna put what they want right out there, and mm -hmm. then and then work towards it. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, no, and no you're mysteries. really looking for friends. You know, I mean, uh, these people aren't just people you have sex with. I mean, you're. I mean, I have had sex, and then it's kind of funny. I was actually at a, a little get together one day, and this guy comes up to me, and he was chit chatting like I knew him. And I'm like, "Have we met before?" He goes, "We've had sex." <laughs> 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 was I drunk? I must have been drunk. <laughs> I was like, I don't so you're like. What number were you on that night? Yeah. <laughs> Tim, Just, can you take your pants off? I need to verify. I, I need to verify that. <laughs> so I was wondering the difference really between like more of a swinging lifestyle than like people who are polyamorous. Is the, there much of a difference between? You know, a lot of the, a lot of couples are, or do actually move into polyamorous lifestyles within the swinging community. Um, some of them are successful. Some of them aren't. Some of them seek it. Mm -hmm. That's that's what they want. That's what they're they seeking. They want the relationship. Mm -hmm. Yep. When they're no, when they sex. go into the lifestyle. So some of them are seeking, looking for that single female or single male, whichever, um, for a poly relationship. And some of them are extremely happy. I've seen some of them kind of go to crap or but have you, go to crap. You have seen a successful. And what, like, what do you, what makes you think that that polyamorous relationship is successful? Have they been together for a long They've time? They've been together for a while. Um, there is openness between the husband, the wife, and the partner, the third partner. Um, some of them I, I have moved in. Mm -hmm. And actually, there was one couple. Now, they're not together anymore. But they moved another single female in and of course the dude was really hot and his wife was smoking and the third party was just wow and their kids all lived together too oh. and so the moms went to school and did the you know the the conferences together and as people were questioning it but in their eyes they're like three people we have love our children are loved three times you know and they raise them as a family. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't. It worked out for quite a few years. I, I I know that they did break up, but it was. Well, a lot of people do. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. With yeah. or without that, that yeah. if you could go yeah. that many years, it had nothing yeah. to do. With, you know, just normal stuff at that point. Right. Yeah. Right. right. And there's there's um somebody there's... just wouldn't put his socks in the stupid hamper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Liz. I think that it might get a little stickier than that. I mean, <laughs> yeah. kind of, yeah, hard to say. I mean, yeah. you never know. I was wondering if you if you'd noticed though, um, an increase in more polyamorous uh, relationships developing yes. beyond just the the regular swinging lifestyle in the last few years. Yeah, yeah. I'm a part of a a private group um, on Facebook. A lot of us have our they, we break off into different groups and we have a lifestyle all women's group mm -hmm. so we talk about that. We have lifestyle groups um, 
private. They're all private. So you right. wouldn't know, yeah. you know. Um, and, and that does come up. And people are specifically, they do. A lot of people are looking for that. Um, for the fact, you know, I, I don't really know. I think as far as a polyamorous, whatever, you know, I don't want to say kink or, you know, whatever it is. Now, I can, can completely understand the polyamorous um, por portion of it. I don't know if I would ever move like a single female or a single mm -hmm. male in on a sexuality, okay. but I do know, let's call them toys. I like to consider them toys. Um, my husband, who maybe isn't quite as adventurous as I am, or he's a little bit more shy and quiet, maybe we should get him in here someday so you guys can meet him. <laughs> that would be something else. Uh, I would like that. I don't know if he would say too much, but <laughs> you see, he's definitely more reserved. Um, the the boy toys that I kind of seek um, and the single female friends that I seek have, you know, be adventurous. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's something my husband doesn't want to do, but I can, I don't want to say con or manipulate, but I'm like, hey, you want to do this? And the, the toys would be like, yeah, let's go for it. And then I would go, hey, so-and-so wants to do this with me. You know, are you okay with it? And he would be like, yeah, or no. Usually it's yeah, because he's like... <laughs> Take He's her. already in. Take her. <laughs> I don't want to do that anyway. Well, you guys, you guys tend to explore separately, though, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yep. it's nothing new for him. No, nope. because he's got his own thing, right? He's got his own thing. He's he's like I said, he's a lot more quiet. Um, he's he's I, I don't really know how to describe him. He's very flirtatious, mm -hmm. and boy, once he's got his eye on someone, then. Yeah, and he's got he's got good taste. I'll never deny. It. <laughs> I've never looked at him and went really. So is it fun? Oh God, can you imagine that? Is, is it fun being the wingman or the wing woman for your spouse? I mean, you know, like I, I I've met someone I think you would like. Oh God, it's a blast! Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's talking about. That would be yeah. because I I admit I you know I don't like to share. Yeah. I, I, I would rather yeah. pick than have him just pick though. Like to me that that. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I want to know who he would just pick. Like, you know, because what if it's like something too similar or completely different? You like, know, that, my husband's you know? all over the map when it comes oh, to yeah. what he likes. He, it, for him, number one is personality. He mm -hmm. wants a personality. Obvi obviously. And, <laughs> yep. He's obviously <laughs> really so, into personality. And he likes, he loves to flirt. He uh -huh. doesn't want to just um, dive into bed with a woman just to have sex with right. her. He likes all. He wants the adventure. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He likes everything that leads up to it. The flirting and the touching mm -hmm. and the kissing and all that stuff. He loves that. Where I can't say that I have. Just not dumped into bed. Just hey, let's save <laughs> it for a test ride. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that makes me a good person or a bad person. No. <laughs> no. No. A fun no. person. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I like that. I like that. You've got. I, I met someone over here. You've got yeah. seat ups. You know. Yeah. 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 There's been a couple times my husband has interjected because I've been a little bit too tipsy, and then he'll. Your he judgment is cock yeah, blocks like, me, yeah. and I can't understand why are you doing this to me? And he goes, "You will understand in the morning <laughs> when your beer goggles are not on." <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I wake up the next morning, and yeah, he'll do the you. old to the right, to the right. And I'm like, "Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Do you love me? Do you love me more?" <laughs> I like that. I, I, I had no thought about the, all that part too, setting them up and then going, nah, this one's not. No. Uh -huh. This one over here. Yeah. Watch, I, yeah. I, you know, that, that is a true trust factor right yeah. there. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Because he, yeah, he knows. He it knows was, I would have been mad at myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, things happen. <laughs> I know. I mean, <laughs> you know, I think it's weird though when, I mean, I've, I, I, I know we've talked about it here on the show. I don't know if it came up, Mrs. Sin, last time you were here, but um, there is a, sh a Showtime after hours show called Polyamory. And if any of you guys caught yeah. any of the episodes of it, no, I watched, I watched two seasons just because, you know, they're following um, some of the same people. And mm -hmm. there's one, a couple of them that have just completely imploded, but you see, See as these progress, and, and uh, one of the sets that are kind of really main characters are two couples that moved in together, and there's children and things like that. But it's like it, it's really kind of weird when you watch something like that and you think swinging is so much less complicated. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because oh. you know the more the yeah. deeper that they get into all this stuff, then th that's when the I could see the party lifestyle or the you know standard lifestyle being easier. 
Yeah. And I, I will admit with that, the one thing that I like about the lifestyle versus Polly, and I'm not against Polly. I, I mean, like I said, I call them toys. Some people want to move in together, but I like to have my downtime. So my uptime is planning the party. That's kind of the four plays, planning it, getting ready, going to the party, doing all the flirting, having the fun, being caught up in the moment, meeting someone, going back to your hotel room, having that wild, crazy, fun, hot sex, and then goodbye and wake yeah. up in the morning, have breakfast in bed. Yeah, yeah breakfast mm-hmm. in bed and chill out and, you know, just go home and recap how mm-hmm. much fun everything was mm-hmm. and with have the person that, that you actually have living yeah. with right yeah, because and there's, yeah. there's that really well they know. say that like like vacation they say the most exciting part of a vacation is the days leading up to the vacation planning it yeah mm-hmm. it's it's not actually necessarily the vacation itself it's just the anticipation so that's if you've got that all the time you know and and uh, like, you know like you, you ask anyone who's lost his job you know who's on like week five or six it's no longer fun. Right. Just, if you're always in just, paradise, it's not yeah. paradise anymore. Yeah. 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 For yeah. Granted. Do yeah. Do you I like it? Do you have a certain amount of like, like, I don't want to say like, energy that when you're done, then you know you have to have a two week break or you know yeah. what I mean? Okay. How does that work? Like, yeah. can you kind of give me an overview? I'm curious. Um. Well, like as far as me personally, or mm-hmm. just like yeah, a- you personally, because I know that you plan a lot of these events, and if anybody's ever planned anything on a decent scale with a number of people, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, the house parties for us, doing our house parties, because we literally transform our entire lower level into a pretty much on premise, which would be yeah. like an on site swing club. So you have one part of the our basement. We have a really large basement. That's cabanas, drop down movie screens, porn, wow. sex toys. Um, we supply the condoms, lube, all that stuff. Then the other part is where the party is. So basically we take our entire lower garage, which is a beautiful garage, it's sheet rock, mirrors, we have a sitting area, DJ booth, bar. And we clean out the garage (laughs) and we scrub the floors down and we wipe down all the mirrors and we set up all the furniture and everything that's because it's a garage. It's really a garage. So we have a lot of shit that needs to go somewhere (laughs) Mm -hmm. and then move out all the furniture in our basement into another area and hang the cabanas. I mean, prep the food. It is so much work that I actually called another event host one day. Um, John, he, him and his wife do the big O, and I almost was in tears. I go, do you ever get sick of it? I think I'm just sick of it. It's too much work. <laughs> and he's like, and he agreed. He goes, it can be a lot of work. He goes, but once the party comes, he goes, you forget about all the hard work, and he goes, and you just enjoy it, which is so true. Do you do you then charge a cover? Yeah. Yeah. Cause I, does, uh, does that just pretty much just cover your expenses or are you able to? Our house parties took a long time to, um, because each house party has a theme mm-hmm. to them and each theme costs money. Yeah. So now we do the BYOB because obviously we don't have a liquor license to sell liquor, right. but we supply the food, mm-hmm. we supply the DJ, we supply the setups, we supply the ice, the theme. Um, everything condoms. that we had, con- <laughs> we buy the con everything we do. So yeah. our house parties are, I want to say in our first house party out the gate was almost a thousand dollars. So, you know, and then that was theme one and then we had to roll into theme two and theme mm-hmm. three. So it took us a while to actually start getting the money back okay. that we put into the parties. Okay. Yeah. Because um, if you don't have a turnout, right? I mean, yeah, if you have a lower turnout, yeah, uh, it, yeah and it just and you can't like posthumously go, okay, we had forty people, so you all have to pay, right? <laughs> so, so yeah. is, are there seasons to the parties? Yeah, I, yeah. Um, yeah. That's that's a good question. I personally, as an event host, do fall, winter, early spring. Summers to me in Minnesota are far too short yeah mm-hmm. to to be doing Working. all the <laughs> yeah. basically yeah you have a full-time job yeah i bartend and I, yeah and i dance i do other stuff yeah. plus i have um track people i do race horses in the summer yeah. have those mm-hmm. um so once 
once fall comes, now people are getting antsy in the pantsy because they want to do they want to do something. But in the summer, there's other people that do like we did the river run um, on the river. Mm-hmm. There's riverboat parties. There's, there's the camp, lake parties. There's that campground. There's two campgrounds. Right. Mm-hmm. There's two campgrounds. And these people will not answer my emails. I want to talk to them and they won't <laughs> respond to me. But okay. Go oh, ahead. Well, really, Tony and Glenn? Uh, see, I, all I have to do is you mm-hmm. are such a networker. <laughs> you are so well connected. Yeah, help me. I really want to get the campground guys on. Okay, please. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they came to a uh, New Year's party. Actually, they were the they hosted the party, our first hotel party, mm. that my poor husband white knuckled it to, <laughs> <laughs> all the way down to yeah. the hotel. And people have cabins and boats, mm-hmm. and their kids yeah. are out of school. Kids are out yeah, of school. Know, there's a there's lot. Good, there's summer good. camp. Summer, there yeah. is summer camp for kids. <laughs> so that's a week <laughs> your kids are gone. You don't get that in the school year. No, no, no you don't get that. No. Yeah, you know, and we had a, we had a cabin up on Balsam Lake that we did weekends. We had swinger parties up there, blast, absolute blast. I mean, we took the jet skis out, the pontoons. We learned that's where I learned how to water ski, kneeboard, slalom. Mm. Um, so, what's the, the least offensive tasting bug spray? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? That um, that be, oh, what is that stuff called? That is it, Mary Kay, Avon oh, makes yeah. it. Oh, the skin, skin so soft. Skin, skin so soft. soft. Okay. Yeah. Because you're gonna put it in some important places. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're gonna go naked well, in the woods, you're yeah. gonna want some decent yeah. hell yeah. protection. I, the, our our See, cabin was actually. I always think house. practical. I really, I think it drives <laughs> some people crazy. I always cover up with like, what bug spray do you use? Oh my, we're talking about sex, and I want to know what bug spray. Oh, <laughs> well, you don't want you do not want welts no. on stuff. Mm. You can't eat deep. Well, welts no. that you, you put on no. there. Are right. yeah. mm. That would be bad. Yeah. You can't Wait, eat deep. Yeah. <laughs> oh my funny. god! Can you imagine the news headline? Because I've tasted <laughs> all the swinger yeah. party emergency room overrun with swingers <laughs> poisoned by, by deets. <laughs> yeah. Because I've tasted the lubes, but I'm not tasting the bug spray. No. <laughs> No. Yeah. Oh, you've never had your mouth open when someone's spraying you? Oh, yeah, it's hideous. Yeah, That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 So, how many people, on average, and I know I'm sure it varies and, and whatnot, come to the app, to the house parties? and Because they stay all like all weekend, right? The, our house party is Saturday nights, usually. We okay. have done some Friday night ones, but usually Saturday. And we've had, with our doing them for so many years, I think we're going on six years of doing the house parties, I kind of have a pretty good idea of how the sign up and how many people we can do. A um, hundred people, which would be 50 couples, is right there. That's a, yeah, I can't imagine. It's a, house. It's a ton of people. Yeah. It's a ton of people, but now you have to remember it's cut up between the, the play garage, area uh, yeah. and the play area and our lower our lower garage. So you have people drinking, dancing. We have two chill zones, what I call chill zones, where they're sitting down and they're getting to know each other. People eating, you know, getting to know each other and playing. So you kind of cut it up. Any mm-hmm. more than that, and the house gets hot and it's it's you can't get into a play area. Mm-hmm. Um, There's lines. There was, oh God, there was one line. It was so funny from the play area down the hallway through the garage, and I was. I, I was like, w- what's going on here? Like naked people standing in line, all that are twisting <laughs> through the house. <laughs> we were waiting for a play cabana. And I walked in to the play area and one couple would, you know, couples would come out and then four couples would go in and then the line would move forward. Uh, <laughs> <and> like, <laughs> we like, need another cabana. It was, so, it was, it was kind of comical. I was like, well, how nice that everyone patiently waits their turn. That's Minnesota <laughs> for you. Yeah. All lined up naked. Well, it I was, don't want to cause a scene. You know, yeah. just wait my turn. Wait my turn. No zipper merge. They're just yeah. in their line. No. <laughs> yeah. And then there's that. Then there's that single female that's just like, hey. cut into the front. What is she <laughs> doing? I really, I just have this visual that you know, this would actually make if you got down low and just took a picture of like knees down, all the all the feet waiting, yeah. waiting to get into the room for the next. Oh, I would love for, to take pictures, but I'd probably get no, in so much no, trouble. Just, just oh, like knees down, just like you know, here's the line. It's like filming below. children, you know, you just you can film children, you just can't film the, their heads. <laughs> Like uh, seriously, you can like you can like take go to a school and like they'll usually let you take pictures, but you cannot do their heads. So it's like oh, backs, okay. yeah. legs, 
like classroom know, pictures. We're not so talking. Okay, but so many just people have tattoos now. But I just you know, yeah, so probably oh, that's not. True. I think about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because none of yeah. Th- that that'd be about the only time I my tattoos that. would be visible. I know it's that true. manicure. Yeah. I, I got, wanted yeah. to get into like pedal porn videos because I'm like, yeah, you just push a gas pedal and people pay you money for it. I'll do that. Hell yeah! And then I'm like, oh my damn tattoo would give me away. <laughs> what <laughs> is pedal, pedal porn? porn? Yeah, you you like you'll put a car <laughs> in neutral or whatever, and you it's just feet revving an, an engine, engine, pressing down the pedals, and guys will pay to watch these videos. Well, it's better than the stomp. Huh. Right, You'd exactly. have to have some really exactly. nice feet, though, wouldn't you? What are you saying? I, I I'm not done. saying. I that, means, that, would, <laughs> that means I would I have would to shave so. my toes. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> you got toe wax. <laughs> yeah. But it's like the balloon. We had talked about the lunars, the, balloon, the people yeah. who will yeah. pop the balloons uh-huh. and stuff oh, yeah. last episode. Balloonies. Or something, yeah. something similar like that, yeah. yeah. Did you know about balloonies? Uh-uh. People, they they have sex with balloons like bol- you know I come in here and I think I'm the weirdest <laughs> one. <laughs> in the no, they don't they don't just have sex with balloons. There are people that actually form a relationship and a bond with a balloon. Now you had that person yeah. sitting in my chair. No, no. no. That, that, that was okay. the, um, the, professor. the professor. Was here was talking he about looks, he, okay. he researches very strange fetishes. Yeah. yeah, but like I said, I know, can the, see the, the, the blowing they, they, they up. Like the so do they thing? make them into like little twisty animals first, or <laughs> just not always? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Blow they, up put, a balloon they put little T-shirts over them, you know, so the the top of the balloon is just you know, and they float around. I don't know. I think it's really just popping. No, he said there. It there. Yeah. He said there's mm-hmm. that, and there are people that have relationships with their balloons. Mm-hmm. Which, see the popping, I can see you sit on it, you know. And like, well, who doesn't like to sit and pop a balloon? Right? <laughs> I, mean, it's, it's, I do it as a kid. Yeah, right. Right. Mm-hmm. But do that naked, and that's the idea, right? Oh, that would be like latex snapping your like genitals. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, there's there's how like big it. are these balloons? Right. We're I gonna have normal, to find out. Yeah, normal yeah. balloons. Normal. Yeah. They're not like necessarily. I wonder you know, if the relationship balloons city. would have really, to be a mylar. I really hope know? no one comes yeah. and looks at the search history on my computer when I get back to the office because now I'm going to look this up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about opening up a store and having these cute balloons and we'll name them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like this balloon. This is so it's like the real dolls. Is, yeah, this yeah. is full of Frida. I think it might be so obscure you could really only do it on the internet where you have the global community. I'm not quite sure the market. It, the like yeah. specific many, Minnesota market. How many of, loonies live in Minnesota? I mean, there might only be four. <laughs> you never know. Yes. I'm learning. Apparently, it's true. It, there's a whole episode on strange sex about it. That's what he. That's where he said he originally saw it. So, do they take these balloons on dates? Yes. Yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a Wikipedia page. Okay. Of course. <laughs> All right. Of course there of course. is. <laughs> what have you found? Um. <laughs> A balloon fetish is a sexual fetish that involves balloons. Woo. Okay. <laughs> I'll, yes, I'll, I'll, let me poke around here. And okay. <laughs> this this is there. coming of a new event. I could actually put balloons oh, out yeah. mm-hmm. at one of my lifestyle events, and let's see who starts playing yeah. with uh-huh. them. <laughs> you so, yeah. should. I was you wondering should. what kind of themes you would do. You yeah, what are some themes? themes yeah. For yeah. Oh, the themes for parties? Um, well, if you go on www.sinfuleventsmn.com, my house parties are up. I do need to change the date on the site um, for one of them, which is the first one. It was over deer hunting, my initial. We don't oh, yeah. do no, a don't party do yeah, over no, deer no. hunting. No. Mm-hmm. Wisconsin or Minnesota. No. So um, the first one is our Natty Neon party. And oh. then we have the Le Noir a Blanc, which is the black and white party. Mm-hmm. And I have a Dark Night party, which I do. And, oh, we're doing uh, wine and, um, what is it, wine? It's a, a pre-event wine. Um, so we're going to start early, and we're going to have a wine tasting, cheese and wine tasting, meet and greet, and then move into the party. Mm-hmm. At, and this is a house party? Yep, this will mm-hmm. be our house party. So okay. we'll start the... the I'm I'm doing it. It's a little, it's oh a touch of class, um, touch of ass. So the oh, touch of class nice. is the is, wine tasting. Is the wine tasting, thing. and <laughs> people can come in. It'll be, you know, a nice meet and greet. It won't, you know. Do you get all that sponsored our, by a winery? Actually, you know, I have friends that uh, that make their own wine mm. from their their own grapes mm. on their farm and stuff. Nice. So they're gonna do it. Yeah, nice. So yes, yeah. I mean, you are and, essentially yep. having a winery come in. Yeah, cool. and she and uh, her and her boyfriend have won several awards now at the state fair and county fairs and different little wine tasting things. Yeah. 
So they're building up their name. Cool. It's Clucky Wine. <laughs> I that. And I, I, I do see a fair amount of that sort of thing because yeah. my boyfriend owns a liquor store. Yeah. So we have people that come through. And so I have not, I'll have to look for those guys. Yeah, it, are they, they repped? Huh? Do you know, are they repped no, by they, a, they're just by themselves? Well, they probably, yep, by themselves. if they're home, if they're home winemakers, they probably don't have like an alcohol license. You know, you have to get like labeling and all that stuff. For uh, sure. Okay. Are so they, I've looked up, there's just so much here. You just need to go to Wikipedia, mm. put in balloon fetish, yeah. and you will be informed. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so I, I got we got to have just a couple minutes left here on, on the podcast here, Great Northern Sex Cast, episode 39, Mrs. Sin in the house. She's got to become a regular because there's way too much that we can ever get to. Way but, too much. But, you know, Colleen, we were talking about um, the Kinky Fridays at the 90s, and, and we were trying, Mrs. Sin and I were trying to figure out maybe going and seeing who might want to talk to us. And we love going to the gay 90s. They are terrific. They've always treated the great northern sex cast well it's just it's so blooming loud so yeah. we're gonna see if we can't get a little side setup for a for a kinky friday and um let's just go and and tape a show and see who comes over i mean i would like to see if we, yeah if we can find a side area because you know the uns 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 oh i know it just covers up some of the best conversation yeah and, and, you know and that's the point i mean i get yeah. that yeah you know i was going through there and it's the mood yeah and and, and it's, you know, bringing everything is, you know, a lot of work too. So if there's a side area where we, you know, and people are willing to talk, I love talking to folks. This has been the best part. I mean, yeah. like, I mean, mind you, you guys know me who work with me. I can chat about almost damn well anything, but I love listening to other folks. Oh, it was so yeah. much fun when we <laughs> fun saw stories. the trans gals that one night. Mm -hmm. They were so cool. Oh, aren't they great people? They were super nice. You know, and then um, they have we have our puppies at Kinky Fridays, mm -hmm. so it's the men and women that like yep. to dress like puppies. Yep, that is such a huge thing. <gasps> that exploded. Uh, you know what? I, I love being the master to a puppy. Mm. It is something that I grab. I have one little puppy, and he comes up, and I nuzzle him, and I tell him to heal, and, oh, I get into <laughs> it. You stay, puppy. You stay, you good boy. You a good boy. That's a good boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And he listens to. I would pay to watch that. Oh I think. Oh, he's so fun. He is so fun. He's so fun. He's the nicest guy. He comes in, he gets dressed up, and he turns himself into a puppy. Yeah. And I love it when he's my little puppy. Um, we have the slave masters. We have the cross dressers. Uh, we have obviously, um, you know, a handful of swingers. Now some of them are new. They may be a little bit nervous about coming on and discussing stuff, but uh, you know, our friends. Um, Junk male and junk female, the yep. photography people. Yep. yep. They are. They love going to Kinky Fridays and partake in that. Um, the Mister always dresses the misses up in in the themes. And back to the themes, I, I don't think I got a chance mm -hmm. to. Um, a lot of the lifestyle events do we theme theme things so that people can you know if it's a quirk a fetish a, you know whatever. Back to school is coming mm -hmm. up. So oh, our last girl. Kinky Friday. Yep, mm -hmm. we had the we mm -hmm. had back to Natty school. Um, let me, th I'm trying to think. There's so many different, there's color themes, white night, uh, red night. You can do, um, some of the, you know, like I said, I have the black and white, the touch of class, touch of ass, you know, different themes, just something so that people can, you know, dress up the, we did a really big downtown party, neon party, more like a rave style. So we had the hula hoopers and oh, fun. everyone yeah. dressed, you know, in like their rave style stuff and you wear the fun, bright wigs. It's like and having a little mental costume with mm -hmm. your other costume too. So you can be, you, you can you be become, yeah. 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 And that's why Halloween themes. parties are always a blast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just to clarify, the dark night you had mentioned as a theme, that's not Batman theme, does it? No, the Dark Knight. I'm like, I really <laughs> excited. <laughs> I, no. I was I'm like, okay, I know. I, I saw you go, huh. I know. <laughs> our, our, our Dark Knight house party, um, we do everything is, what I do is the cabanas are black, and then all of the stuff is in animal print. Ooh. And everyone can do their gothic dominatrix kind of bring gotcha. out their, their dark gotcha. side if they have a dark side um who doesn't <laughs> you know and you know it's not the thing is with the themes it's not required that you dress the part it's, it's if fun. you want to dress mm -hmm. the part and you know some people come in and they love dressing up you know neon are in our at our house parties are neon we have all these black lights and so you get under you know even in a white shirt if you don't want to dress the part wear white you're going to yeah. glow everything glows the cabanas glow in the yeah. dark the sheets 
I have the sheets glow in the dark, and then each pillowcase says, like a pillowcase will say, and it glows in the dark, suck me, fuck you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> nice. That's adorable. Did you make those yourself? <laughs> yeah, I did it all myself. Nice. Yeah, so, and then nice. the black lights are on, and, and when you walk into the cabanas, the cabanas glow, and then each pillow glows, too. Nice, nice. <laughs> nice. So let's just talk real quick, going back to your schedule. So did you we... have this house before, or did you buy this house? We built for... the house on our property with no intentions oh, of so before we were even in the lifestyle <laughs> and then all of a sudden i had this I, I had a couple that took me to toronto canada um and catered to me because i can play separate and uh we they took me to an on-premise site now in canada you can have sex clubs oh really yeah okay and they took me to a sex club and each level so the bottom level was the bar dance area and then you went up to the next level and they had different rooms they had a viewing room they had a jungle gym room which was beds at all different levels with jungle gyms that would get you from bed to bed <laughs> they had so look on your face Colleen <laughs> she's trying to picture it okay go ahead yeah and they I, have I, 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 well, it's like I, what I the fantasy should have yeah, been yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. the viewing room was really interesting so you go into the viewing room and you sit down on these beautiful posh leather couches and it's a one-way mirror mm -hmm. and you sit there and you watch people on this whole room it's made out of a big bed and you watch people have mm -hmm. group sex yeah and then the third level was the hot tub kind of the water-based area and I came home and I looked at Jim and I go we could do that here and then all of a sudden the next thing you know we're tearing our house apart and we're doing it. <laughs> Welding stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was, I mean, I That's wouldn't say we have a mirrors jungle. mirrors went up in the, in the garage. The sure. mirrors went well, there, up. There is, see, there's another, there's another job for you. Yeah. You can now design yeah. playrooms. Yeah. Well, but yeah. that's what the cabanas are for. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then what we do want to do is a glory hole. We haven't oh, done it yet. We yeah. want to do a glory hole oh, box. Oh, oh, they sell that door. <laughs> We did buy they, but you can buy a door, door, so you could take your regular door, and for your parties, you can swap it out with a door that has a glory, glory hole, hole in it. it. So oh. then, when the party's over, you can put your regular door back in. I remember, I remember when a gentleman who used to work for us, he doesn't work for us anymore, uh, Michael. Uh, a different, you know, not not the Michael. Oh, Michael. Expl yeah. yeah, explained to me years ago what it was. <laughs> I'm like, a what? I, oh, <laughs> and then he spent like the next 20 minutes telling me where in town the best oh, ones yeah. were. Oh, and, and for, for no. him, and for oh, him, no experience. And for, yeah. and for him, it was the um. Uh, there were several places at the University of Minnesota. Oh yeah, that's where he liked to go. Yeah. He, he liked the students, but I mean, he was a yeah. I mean, what inside was he, early the University of Minnesota, probably in bathrooms, yeah. right? Bathrooms, libraries, yeah. Mm -hmm. Long yeah. time, yeah. Well, now, that's you, paying for an education. Yeah. See, now, we, you, we don't that, have things to stick in, so our bathrooms never have glory holes. I'll yeah, stick my finger and my foot in there. <laughs> no, I'm yeah. just trying to imagine if there's a map, though. Oh, like, no, but it was, yeah. I mean, there's Word you of keep mouth, knew about it, but Craigslist. I mean, this mouth. was uh, Craigslist has a lot of them. Yeah. See, yeah. the problem is that you had one for um, for cruising, but mm -hmm. then the cops go on those, and then they go to the cruise. Yeah. You know, they go to go to the no yeah, which cruising is, yeah. sites in Boston. But it was just it was the most amazing conversation yeah. that I have with Michael because <laughs> I'm just looking at it, but I'm like, you you go and you. And, and and he didn't really get a lot yeah. of words out. And he's yeah. like, yeah, he's just explaining it to me. And I'm like, He would also well, go to fisting parties. I'm like, how in the world do you find a fisting party? But, Fat know. life. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, no, I'm, this was, this this was pre-internet. This was pre the internet. Oh. Yeah. This is all word of mouth. <laughs> this is what you, that's what you call underground stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to know someone that knows someone. And hey, how do you yeah. bring it up when you're sitting at Starbucks? Yeah. Right? I don't like getting fisted. But, I know where we I know a guy. <laughs> But that was the weird part because I'm, I'm in the office and we're <clears> chatting <throat> and I'm thinking, my mom and dad are in the next room. <laughs> it <was> just, <laughs> but it was just, you know, weird conversation because I'm like, it came up and I'm like, well, I guess I got to know about this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. But it was just, it was, it was fascinating. See, I yeah. just had somebody give me that conversation about less than a year ago. So <laughs> I'm like, a what? And it was the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. And then she showed me on Craigslist how, how they're everywhere. Yeah. Look yeah. at all the education you're getting by hosting this podcast. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It is yes. so much fun. Yes. And so <laughs> you've got to, <laughs> I, I know, what? You've got to give us the list of your websites um, to Mrs. Sin. And then, of course, as you did before, Michael did it on behalf of Fantasy Gifts um, the last time. But, you know, you had a little offer for um, all of the lifestyle p people that come oh, in yep. and, and mm -hmm. identify themselves. What is that? Oh, my oh, the, God. The, 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 okay. the keyword. Oh, there, we're going to. Waffles. 
was, it was waffles. <laughs> it was waffles. Right. It was waffles. Based well, on a story well, that yeah. you told. Yeah. Well, well, we know where I, th- I think what we should probably use is uh, either waffles or balloon. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, let's do balloon. Let's do balloon. Let's do balloon. Let's do balloon. And so we'll uh, 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 post the. Uh, um, was a, it was swinger a percent, discount. A swinger discount. Mm-hmm. It was a you know, listen to this. Put it in the uh, comment section, and mm-hmm. we'll uh, uh, refund a percentage of the sale. I think Perfect. Did, That's I think awesome. Did, I think Thank we you. Did, uh, 10 ten percent yeah. last time. That was always. And our I do. Age. I yeah. I do know that uh, I got some emails back thanking me for the ten percent off. Yeah. That people used it. And we well, have we a, always did club age, but I don't think they're around anymore. Yeah, and they're we the had, campground. The oh, I do a lot yeah. of the campground. Okay. I knew that when you said those names, I knew that sounded familiar. But uh, we also have a, uh, we have a big old uh, basket of toys. And for the month of September, if you're at a Fantasy Gifts, any Fantasy Gifts, and check in, we're going to take all those names, throw them in a pot, and uh, we'll take a picture. Do we have the ba- basket put together? Yes, it's all okay. put together. All put I'll together. have to put it in check the comments in Facebook, because, right? yeah. yes, mm-hmm. check in on Facebook. Facebook. I'll put a picture of it in the comments. Mm-hmm. I can't promote um, Facebook wouldn't let me just put a picture up of the yeah. toys. So yeah. We're going to hide it a little bit. Um, but yeah, through the month of September, you can check in on Facebook on any one of the nine Fantasy Gifts location pages, and then you would be entered to win a basket of goodies. We've got some vibrators, lube, massage oil. We always have Perfect. good gift baskets. Mm-hmm. I will promote that on all the sites, too. So www.sinfuleventsmn.com. Okay. Go there for the list of the house parties, the themes of the house parties. You can also go into the page, and if you're curious or interested in signing up for a site, there's Lifestyle Lounge. Um, Click on that banner. That will jump you right to the site and Swing Lifestyle. Okay. Those are the two biggest sites that uh, we do host our parties off of. And if... um, yeah, you know, if you got if anyone who's listening to this gets signed up and uh, email me, I'm sinfully yours one on swing lifestyle and sinfully yours is my regular profile lifestyle lounge or sinful events is my event profile. So that's where it discusses what we do in the event profile. Either one of those drop me an email and I will get you going into where to meet people and help you out and Get you to Fantasy Gifts checked in and <laughs> get your percentage off. And, and yeah. Megan, you can help us. We can put some of those links up on the yes, Great Northern Sex Cast Facebook yep, page, will. too. So always good. Colleen, I'm so glad that your sinus has held out. Yes. So that Yay. you could finally meet Mrs. Sin. We love having you. We hope that Thank you'll come you. back. And Absolutely. You, you've got to become like a quarterly guest because you're just there's we never get to everything. No. And so we're going to go ahead and shut down episode 39. Next week, the big four. Oh. Woo! Oh, fun. Mm. Lordy, lordy, you're turning 40. Yeah. <laughs>